Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with an unboxing of the second in the NSWDG Infiltration Team series. And this is from Easy and Simple. We've already done an unboxing on 26051A. This is 26051B. There is also a 26051S, which will be later on. So this is the B version, and this is kind of the match to the A. So A and B go together, same type of uniform. And let's go ahead and show you what's what. Now this comes with some different gear than the A version, obviously a different head sculpt because it's a different person. But just undo this real quick and we'll kind of pull everything out for you so you can see what's what. So right out of the gate, just like on the last video, I spoke about the freaking awesome uniform. And love this color. This is gonna be a woodland tiger stripe and absolutely fantastic uniform. Very nice cut, working pockets, great built-in knee pads. I'm loving the black and green, some browns. And here's another series of boots. And like we saw these, uh, these boots in green already, and these are in gray. So just like, basically this is the same setup as the 26051A, different head, and the chest rig is going to be a little bit different, but same basic loadout, same body type, same boots, same uniform, same gloved hands. Do have some extras down here. You can kind of see these are a black and brown, so nice color. But check that out. If you watch the uh, SEAL Team 6 TV show, then you should recognize that guy. But love this laser cut chest rig. This is a micro chest rig, so very low profile. Um, and this guy right here is going to be a different, different weapon system than the other one. So we do get a really nice backpack. Looks like an LBT, so you can see the little logo right there. But very, very cool. Coyote tan, a little bit lighter than coyote tan. This is like a desert tan, and then you have a nice tropical multicam back right here. So very, very nice functioning pockets. You do have some hook and loop on it, but really nice flat pack. Great uh, for customizing and kit bashing, but very, very cool. I like how they use different color camouflages that semi go together. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this stuff. We do have a really nice hat. And this came, this type of hat came with the first version as well. Uh, they did a great job with the hats. So if you like ball caps and you just like collecting ball caps, then this would be a great thing to get somebody. This also fits really nice on a, on a soda bottle. So if you're into root beer and you want to dress up, dress up your root beer bottle, you can do that. You can see a little logo right there. The logo is different than the first release. So, and that is in a navy blue. So very, very nice ball cap. Okay. And we get a really nice helmet. And the helmet is different than the first version as well. This one has cutouts, so vents cut out. The other one was a solid. But that is in, looks like an, a multicam, or it almost looks like a multicam arid, but very, very cool helmet. Really nice NVG mount, really nice rail system. You can see the new slide ins right here. So, and then they did this in fabric back here. And these are typically done in plastic, so these are these would be molded, but they've actually started to do these in fabric. So very, very cool job on that. But great looking helmet. Let's see what else we have in here. We do have some hands and some feet. So if you want to do this guy up with different shoes that require feet, you can do that. And then it has some regular hands, so nothing special in the rest of the box. Let's go ahead and dig into the rest of this stuff. All right, so lots of goodies in here. You're gonna see some stuff that's used again on the other version of this. So we do have the same type of little tomahawk. You can see the uh, detail right there on the handle. And then just slides in there. What you'll wanna do is use this guy right here and then I'll go over the top of that. And that's how it stays in there and holds it, okay? Um, if you're having problems with this, say, falling out, you could just use a glue dot on the inside. But that'll just slip over any belt. So that's a great addition if you just want to make a cool belt system. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the belt. Really nice multicam belt. This does have hook and loop on it. But really, really good fabric. They did a great job on this. 
and it's the correct width. So that's really, really cool. We do have the boonie hat. You can see it does have the drainage holes. It does have the little chin strap with the little leather piece right there. And it does have a wire inside. So you could actually shape this, this hat. And boonie hats are great. I absolutely love them, but we could never shape the bill or the, uh, the brim properly. And now these have a wire built in that allows you to do some really cool, cool stuff with it. So really, really like that they actually thought of that. So very, very cool piece of gear. We do have some stuff for the chest rig. Again, we have another one of these patches, which we've seen before. And this right here will go right there on the front like that. And this right here is a little slide out and that fits in there like that. In case you didn't know how that goes like that. Okay. And then this guy comes with a 556 magazine pouch and this can go inside that or this can drop into that rig like that. So very, very cool. Great little, little chest rig set. Really, really like these things, but let's go ahead and pull all those guys out. We do get a radio pouch. We do get a miscellaneous pouch. This could also be used for more magazines or another comm set. Uh, the comm system on this again is super, super dope. So just like the first one, triple antenna. This is going to be a really hot buy. Um, Probably sold out of them already, but we will be reloading more um, as time progresses. Do have a very nice safety lanyard in OD green. It is a bungee. Okay, it does attach to both sides there. So very cool. You do get a baseball grenade. A couple of these little grenades. Again, really nice pair of sunglasses. And the first version has clear lenses. This version has smoke colored lenses. If you know who makes these in real life, leave that in the comments below. But just like the real thing, really, really nice set of glasses. You get some little baggies, some really, really nice patches. These look like they're all laser cut and they have raised um, lettering on them. So very, very cool. We do get some helmet padding, again, some light sticks and some helmet lights and some hook and loop for the helmet itself. We do get another wrist coach and this guy does come with this guy right here, this little map and you just pull it out and fold it up and then throw it in there and that'll fit on your wrist. Okay. <clears throat> really nice comm set, very easy to set up. Okay. And these right here just go around the ear and then the little peg holes go into the ear, but very easy to set up. Not like the huge bulky system. Um, that we put on helmets normally. So very low profile and very easy for, for us to do. So do get a really nice strobe for the helmet as well. We do get a nice NVG mount for the helmet. Okay. And then we do get an NVG kit with battery pack. Very nice set of goggles. And again, battery pack, very cool. to get a really nice data pad, okay? And I did a video on YouTube and on our Patreon channel of how I set these up so you actually know how to do it properly. But this goes with the radio set. To get a very nice watch. You can see the detail on the sticker printing, but very, very cool watch. We do get an awesome holster. And again, this right here slips on the belt. And then you can see how it has little teeth right here. This is in multi-cam, by the way, wrapped in fabric. And this right here will just slide right in here. So you put this on the belt and then you can slide various holsters in, depending on the type of pistol that you're using. So very, very cool set. Love it. You get a nice G pistol. Okay. Nothing special. Seen these before, but the detail is much, gets much more crisp as they release figure after figure. So good job on them. We do get a little tiny GPS that can go on the wrist. But this right here is my favorite part of this figure. And these things right here are going to be hard to come by and very, they're just super, super cool. So 
That's a SIG MCX, I believe that's a Rattler. And this is the first time this has been done in 1.6 scale. You can see that it does have the movable buttstock. You can see what this is right here. So that would be an arm brace. But very, very nice, very compact weapon system. Okay. The bolt does move. Um, but these are going to be super, super, super hard to find uh, because everybody's going to buy them. <laughs> so you do get a nice single point sling. And then we get a bunch of accoutrements for the uh, little battle rifle. So magazines. We do get a forward grip. We do get a really nice EOTech. Nice reticule on the back. Nice PEQ. Really nice suppressor. So you can see how compact this is. But super, super tight. Very, very cool. It doesn't fit on straight. You can just turn it a little bit and it'll go straight. But very, very nice weapon system. Absolutely love it. And then we do get a tack light. But in this little bag right here, you do have some bungees for the NVG kit and the helmet. And then you do have some new sights. Let me show you these. In my video with the data pad, that right there goes with the data pad. And I do it in the video and you can see how, how it goes on there. But check out these sights. Really, really nice. And they do flip up. You have a front and a rear. Yeah, but all in all, fantastic release. You do get some little rail pieces down here, but uh, great weapon system, great figure, great chest rig, great radio, great data pad. Everything on this figure, they just knocked it out of the park. So again, pick these up, make the team, and again, you can get different head sculpts that were, you know, basically look like the rest of the team, and you could make an entire unit. Um, of your favorite TV show, SEAL Team 6. So awesome, awesome stuff. If you like videos like this and you want to see more unboxings like this, if you want to see builds and custom stuff that I do, make sure that you follow us on our social media channels on all platforms and make sure that you uh, subscribe to our Patreon channel. Um, we've already got some videos up and lots more to come. Uh, we're going to start to do more builds and more builds and more builds. So if you want to know how to do stuff, that's the place to know it. So thanks a lot and have a great day. Enjoy it.